What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. More blood and plunder goodness here as we have the new Bark, the Barco Luengo. Um, they don't have new retail packaging for it yet, so that's kind of why we get the Bark O here. We're going to get this open for you guys. We'll show you how this stacks up against the original and what you can expect as far as new stats and special rules and things like that. So we'll be right back after we get the new ship opened up for you. Alrighty, guys, we're back. We got everything opened up here for you. So get some of our rigging bits here, the masts, um, other components for that. So um, pretty simple affair there to get it assembled. So if you've already assembled a regular bark, this really isn't going to be much more work. Um, we get our rigging lines and everything. It's nice that all the bits now are going to be in resin. So we get our six swivel cannons gun ports and then six light cannons uh already assembled too so like there's nothing to do here um as uh as as guns for the ship now one of the cool features of the new here the new bark is that it has the ability to take mediums not included here but that's fine if you have you know a blister of the uh the medium slash large cannons you'll you'll be good to go not something you have to necessarily run but you have that ability. We'll take a look at the stack card uh, last here, but again, nice that all this is in resin now. So really, again, nothing in the way of assembly and from just a cursory glance too, didn't really seem like there was gonna be much in the way of mold lines on this one actually. So nice and crisp. And again, we have our other rigging components there. Now the ship itself, certainly a little chunkier than the regular bark. Um, Got our mass locations there, and interesting layout too. So two of the cannons are in the back deck section here. Uh, well, four total, but two on each side back here. But it does have um, bow chasers, and here's where you can either run the lights or if you uniquely want, you can have medium stern chasers, which is pretty damn cool. Um, other than that, uh, again, just a wee bit bigger than the original bark. We'll get one in here just uh, at the end of the video. Just as a size comparison for you guys, but overall, good stuff, good details here. It's a good entry level ship too, so you get get some practice in assembling these, dealing with rigging and all that. But um, overall, cost wise, not all that all that uh, much to get into. So certainly not like buying into like the sixth rate or the galleon or anything where that's definitely a major commitment. Also, just modeling wise, but if you're Looking to get just, you know, dipping your toes into the naval aspects of the game, getting into like barks and rowboats and stuff like that. A great way to go into seeing if you like that aspect of the game. Which if you're playing a game about pirates, hopefully you would. But again, not everybody necessarily is ready for that giant commitment up front. And there we go on the bow chasers. Again, a little bit of cleaning work to do, of course, with a resin ship. Now let's take a look at the new stat card here. So let's, let's get that in frame. So she comes with a top speed of four, windward negative two, uh, draft, sorry, turn of four, draft size five, sorry, draft five, size two. You can kind of see the deck layouts there. So again, four of the cannons are at the back. Starts with hull four. Got those bow chasers there again. You can just go all light or pack some mediums, which really can be quite the nasty surprise. And then several traits here, so which we'll take a peek at on the back. But just to list them off real quick. Chasers, medium gunboat, shallow draft, simple rig, lightly built, galley four, and reinforced bulkheads. So let's take a quick peek here. So the chasers course either bow or stern and the width of the ship so now the cool rule here and really probably why you would be buying this is um, it can carry medium guns as forward chasers which overrides any limitations imposed by other ship traits so normally like the regular bark can't um, pack these bigger cannons shallow draft of course is a nice one a simple rig as well Lightly built, so this is where normally this would con, uh, conflict with being able to take the medium cannons. Um, and in general, lightly built doesn't provide you with hardcover, but you do get at least some soft cover. 
galley four. So again, you can go sweeps four, but it does let you upgrade with reinforced bulkheads. So for another three points, um, you do count as having hard cover. So good stuff there and a 12 point base cost for the ship. So we'll be right back. We're just going to bring in our uh, bark and show you guys a comparison uh, there between this and the new one. Alrighty guys, here we are, just a quick peek. So the two ships, so it's just a smidgen wider, basically probably about a good mm, half an inch wider overall. Uh, again, a little bit longer as well. And just a little beefier looking as well here. So the bark, the regular one, just has essentially that one flat deck. Here you get the back section plus the other deck. So there you have it, size comparison wise, guys. Still in the same ballpark, but uh, a little bit of a chunkier and heavier hitter, again, with our option for mediums. So hope you enjoyed a quick look at the Barco Lango. Um, we're probably at some point going to pick up a couple more of these just to kind of run like a little flotilla of them and um, see what kind of shenanigans we can get up to there with lots and lots of mediums. But let us know your thoughts on the new ship, um, if you picked one up so far, or any games that you've gotten in, and how that's fared for you. So uh, hit us up in the comments, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you in the next one with some more Blood and Plunder goodness. Thanks for watching.